Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video. Now, today I am on Scorched Earth because I'm going to be showing you folks how to farm death worms and how to farm those pesky pesky black pearls. Now, what has brought me down to this was simply because I wanted some black pearls to tame myself a giant squid, but black pearls are also a required material for the tech tier stuff. And so I tried farming it on the island by killing alphas in the water and squids and all that. However, I came across a bit of a problem. If you don't have a squid, you can very easily get dismounted by the jellyfish and eels. And, well, that is how I lost my Mosa and a lot of Mastercraft gear. Obviously, there was a bit of rubber banding and lag involved. So definitely not the way to go unless you have a squid. So I've come to Scorched Earth, done some experimenting. I think it took me about two days to figure this one out. But I have come with a plan in terms of getting black pearls, which I think is easier. But you still have to be cautious. However, there's no risk of being dismounted and killed. So for this video, I am going to be using six of our best Rexes that we have bred for boss battles. Um, this is also going to be a part of their training and also my backup in case we do bump into an alpha death worm, which is a stupidly powerful and dangerous creature here on Scorched Earth and hopefully these guys will be able to take it on and if they need any assistance I will back them up on my wiring. So if you find yourself liking this video don't forget to let me know by smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel if you're new and why not share the video as you see fit. So I'm going to be searching for those death worms at around the upper left corner of the map. So that would be starting from 10-0 to anywhere 10-25 on the map. So that is quite close to the blue obelisk. Now some of you know about the spawn point, others don't. And I'm making this video for those that don't. And I'm going to show you folks how easy it is to kill them and how many pearls I can get in about two hours. Okay, so I am now at the blue obelisk, which is on my left side, and I have all my Rexes on follow. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flying ahead towards the upper left corner of the map with the Rexes on follow, which should aggro any death worms that are hiding in the sand. Now, the thing to watch out for is... If you're going to use Rexes like I have, or maybe even Gigas, they do tend to get stuck on the littlest of things. So always keep an eye on them. The other thing I am going to be doing is I am going to be ordering them to attack all the creatures that I can on the way. Now, there are two reasons for this. The first reason is I don't know if the Death Worms share the spawn points with all the other creatures. So I figure better safe than sorry. But also that will help my Rexes gather some meat, which will be very useful later on when I want to heal them. Also, if you do decide to do this by yourself on a dino such as a Giga or maybe a Wyvern, I do suggest being very, very careful because these death worms in this area will spawn in and out like crazy, so you may find yourself easily outnumbered. And while alpha death worms are quite a rare sight, you can find yourself in the position in which you have aggroed a alpha death worm along with two other death worms, which is what happened to me while I was testing this. And I nearly lost my Giga and my Wyvern as that's what I was using at the time. So for the next 10 minutes of the video, 10 to 15 minutes of the video, I won't be doing any editing. I won't be cutting down the video so I can show you guys how often these things spawn. And there we go. There's a death worm on its way. There's our first target. Okay, right, so it appears I cannot get my Rexes to attack it while it's in the sand, but no worries. They should easily manage this. So let's see, I'm just going to land... Oh, what? From that height? No way. Anyways, let's see. Let's see if we get any black pearls. We did find a very first death worm. And as I was saying before, I will not be doing any editing or cutting for this part of the video to show you folks how easy and often these things spawn so that way it'll give you a realistic idea of how often these things will spawn 
So we've got some black pearls, we've got a death worm horn, and now it's time to carry on to the corner of the map and see how many more we can get. So from the tests that I have conducted prior to this video, I have noticed that per run I tend to get anywhere between four to maybe eight, nine death worms. So that is quite a lot, but don't take my word for it. Watch the video and convince yourself that way because that is the reason I have not edited this down just to give you guys a realistic idea of how often you'll find them. It is important to note and mention here that not every single death worm will drop black pearls. However, that's not a big problem seeing as they spawn quite often and you don't have to go a very long distance before finding another one. Which I think is actually quite good. I mean, I've seen that death worms tend to drop anywhere in between 4 to maybe 9 or 10 black pearls, but it's not a guaranteed drop. However, I have to say that I do find this method a lot easier for farming black pearls than on the island. And as I said, if you don't have a giant squid, then you are going to have a bit of a hard time with those eels and those jellyfish. Particularly seeing as the servers can be quite laggy. Oh, there we go. There is our next target. So it's coming from the border of the map. I'm just going to wait here, let it come to me. And then, obviously, it will aggro my Rexes, which will then take it down. So, let's see what happens. There we go. There's our next target. I'm going to try and land somewhere next to it. Wow, they're taking it down pretty fast. I'm glad to see that. Alright, friends, stop. So, this time around, one of my Rexes has picked up the loot. I'm going to go and see which one has it, because I do want to make a count of how many Death Worms I have killed, and how many Black Pearls I got that, which I'll do at the end of the video. I'm probably going to do this for about two hours. I'm not going to film the whole lot, just the first couple of minutes, just to show you guys how often it is that these things spawn. Um, right, so let's see. What do you have? You don't have anything... Just lots of meat. What about you? Oh, I think you're the same one. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, there, there you go. That's the one. Oh, you didn't pick up the loot. So, there we go. There's our black pearls. And our death worm horn. So, they seem to be coping quite well with the damage from the death worms. So, I reckon maybe after 10 death worms, I will stop to heal them and then start off again. Alright, so this guy hasn't got any meat. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go all the way to that little dune over there. Hold on a second if I can show you it. So, I'm going to go to the dune at the corner of the map. Once I get these guys to follow me. I should have put them all in a group. I didn't do that. I'm not going to bother with it. On the way there, again, I will continue killing anything and everything that I can. Or as much as I can anyway. Just because I will need lots of meat to keep these guys nice and healthy. I don't want to be caught with my pants down. In terms that if an alpha death worm spawns, I want to be ready for that, as there is a good chance of that spawning in, seeing how many death worms do tend to spawn in this area. And I see somebody's set up some huts, and this is actually, by the way, on the official server, so this isn't my local server or my own personal server. This is done on the official server, folks. As I reckon that most people that will be watching this video will be playing on official servers. So I want this information to be as accurate as possible. Obviously, there is a lot of uh, RNG in this game. So, you know, it is the luck of the draw, I guess. But this shouldn't vary that much. Now, before the latest patches have been released, 
deathworms did also used to spawn quite often between the blue and red obelisk on the sand. I have done some testing in that area and I can say I've hardly found any deathworms. So I think with all the new dinos that have been put into the game, this has pretty much become their little area. This is where they tend to spawn most often. So yeah, I definitely recommend coming to this area if you're after deathworms and obviously after deathworm horns and black pearls. There we go, I'm just gonna wait for the vultures to get killed. I think that sorts that problem out. Oh, they should really make that border a bit more visible. Also, the other thing you have to keep an eye out, if you do have an army of Rexes following you, always make sure they are behind you and don't get stuck in the little list of things. It seems like pebbles can get these guys stuck as well. So I'm going to avoid the little areas that have salt in them and rocks and all that. And boy was it a challenge to get them out of the base and onto the sand. So that is another thing. If you are going to use this method to farm death worms, it would probably be a good idea to build a base somewhere on the sand just to avoid all the headaches that this involves. Now, I didn't record my journey and my predicament of getting these guys on the sand, but they did get stuck on absolutely every single thing. And obviously, with their large turning circle, they managed to aggro a rock elemental, and it was just complete mayhem. So yeah, definitely a good idea and suggestion to build a little base on the sand. It just makes to this part of the map a lot easier with fewer headaches. And, you know, you don't have to actually walk them from wherever your base is onto the sand and have to aggro all the rock elementals and all the other things that you have to worry about. Okay, also, always be aware that, like I said before, deathworms do spawn in and out quite quickly. So, one other thing I found that happens quite often is that death worms will approach my rexes which are aggroing them and by the time they get to my rexes they just despawn so that's another thing that does happen quite often so i'll go and send them to sort those mantises out they seem to have a bit of a conflict with the vulture now that that problem is solved oh there we go that's what i meant this is what i meant lag guys not a good way to go if you're going to try and do this in the depth. That's what got me killed and that's how I lost all my good stuff including kibbles and everything. So, a lot easier here. I'm going to come up to probably about this point then turn around. So I'm not going all the way to the blue obelisk guys as you can see. Alright. I'm going to turn around here-ish. Should be alright. They shouldn't get stuck on anything. And it should have given the area enough time to spawn in some more death worms. So let's see how many we can get. I'm not going to go or I'm not going to record all the way back to the corner again. I just, I'll probably cut out at some point after maybe one or two death worms. We'll see what happens. All right, let's go and get that thing killed. So, they do tend to spawn, as you've seen from this video, somewhere in between the blue obelisk and the very corner of the map. However, I am going to run this area quite often, backwards and forwards, because that reckon, because I get out of run range, death worms will spawn. And they might even spawn in the odd area, so I just want to maximize my search for these things. Here we go, there's another one. So I'll probably cut to the end after this one. Yep, there we go. Right, I'm gonna have a quick look around to make sure there aren't any unpleasant surprises coming towards us. Then I'm gonna land next to this thing and see what we get. 
There we go. Stop. So, let's see what we get in the bag. More black pearls and one death worm horn. Alright, so I'm going to cut the video here and cut to the end. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be farming this area for about two hours. And at the end of that, what I'll do is I will show you guys what I have managed to get and how many death worms I've killed for it. So I'll see you folks in a little bit. Alright, so here we are at the end of the two hour of farming. Well, two hour-ish. I am at the blue obelisk just because there was a server restart. So the game was offline for about 15 minutes. And to keep my stuff safe, I have put them in the obelisk. But I will take them down for this video just to show you how many things we got. So I killed about 28 death worms. That's how many death worm horns I have. And got about 85 pearls out of it. And that's not bad, I think, considering that there's only about two hours of work in this. So yeah, definitely a good place and method to farm black pearls. Now I'm going to upload all my stuff back into the obelisk because I obviously need them for the island. You can do whatever you want with your black pearls. I do hope that this video does help you folks out and that you have found it useful and enjoyed it. Well, that is it for me, folks, for this video. If you have found this video useful, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to let me know by smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and share as you see fit. And why not check out some of my other videos? You might just enjoy them. Until next time, stay safe, folks.